Karagea's home in Krugerstorp, friends and family continue to arrive to pay tribute. The former Rwandan intelligence chief left his home on New Year's Eve. His body was discovered the next day in this upmarket hotel. Karagea's nephew David Batenga was the first family member at the scene. It was a horrific event. We've lost a father, a friend, my hero. We've lost someone who is very, very close and very dear to all of us. In the middle of the World Cup. The family believes Karakia died at the hands of the Rwandan government. And as the Hawks investigation continues, another hurdle for the family, Uganda has refused permission for Karakia to be buried in the country. We wanted to take him to Uganda, to his residence, to his home in the western side of Uganda. And we did make direct contact with the president of the country then. And then the internal affairs came out and says there's no problem, we can, the body can come. And then the following day, the spokesperson of the government came live on TV and says there's no chance that the body can be buried in, in Uganda because of the diplomatic issues. A funeral date has not been finalized. Karakia's wife and children have not arrived in the country yet. Mangrobam Kunu, SAPC News, Johannesburg.